blessed child in the world, come stand before me this day, giving unto me your whole heart and soul. Come stand before me in worship, in praise. Do all your soul needs to do at this hour. Delight yourself in me as I delight myself in you, my child. Relax. Breathe in my love, my glory, my joy. I am with you this day, my child. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I walk with you. Oh, Father, I see you standing before me. In spirit and truth. You are the universe. You are almighty God and I bow before you this day. You are larger than anything I could describe with words. You are everything, yet I see you. I see your face. Blessed daughter, I love you. You are standing before me now forever. I have invited you into my presence, into my courts with praise and thanksgiving. You come, you dance, you worship, you sing. Father, it's all I want to do to stand before you and praise your holy name. I want to give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. I see angels dancing before you. They are beautiful. I watch them. I shake it with great interest. I smile. They are so beautiful. They love you. These are my angels, my child. They have been with me since the beginning. They are eternal. They love me unconditionally. The angels reach out their hands, inviting me to join them in the dance. The eternal dance of the ages. I smile and give them my hands and I feel like we are forming a circle. And I begin to dance and praise and sing and worship. I dance with these angels and I never wish to stop. I am in bare feet. I'm in the most beautiful white flowing dress. It's not even made of material, it is see through. It is in spirit, it is a spiritual dress, as I am in spirit. Look at a but it is white and it is flowing around me. A little Vohana Hashiki, and I have the most beautiful smile on my face because I am dancing before the one I love, my God, my King, my Creator. All of a sudden, I see my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He stands in the middle of this circle. We dance around Him. He smiles at all of us. He is so beautiful. I love him with my whole heart and soul. He comes towards me now and the dance ceases for a moment. He reaches out his hand, beckoning me forward to walk towards him. I break free from the angel's hands and walk towards my beautiful saviour, my Lord Jesus Christ. 
I place my hands in his and we begin to dance. The angels resume their dancing, holding hands around us, dancing in a circular motion. And I dance with my Lord, my bridegroom God, the one I love. I feel so safe, so content. I see golden particles filling the air around us. They are like lights, golden lights. I hear music playing, the most beautiful music I've ever heard. And we dance. Never do I wish to stop dancing with you, my Lord. I love you so much. Thank you for inviting me into this journey, this amazing journey into paradise. To see you, to dance with you, to see your face. I love you with my whole heart and soul. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this moment in time. Thank you for giving me your whole attention at this moment so that I can record this word for the nations, so that I can show the world all which is to come. The eternal dance with our living God, our Messiah, our King, our Creator, Beautiful child in the world. You have been chosen because of your purity. You are meek and mild on the earth. You confound the wise. You are not held in high esteem. And therefore I have chosen you to deliver this message to the nations. You and your sister in Christ. You live only by faith. You seek only to serve me, to complete my will upon the earth for your life, for my kingdom. You want nothing in return. You have walked this journey your whole life, wanting nothing in return. Just time to dance, time to worship. It is the most important thing to you, my child. Time to be with me. Therefore, on this day, I am blessing you with unlimited time to worship. You will be able to stand before me night and day in worship, my child. I do not ask for you to do a single other thing than to release my words to the nations and worship. I invite you to come, to come before me each day, to stand before your God, to dance with me eternally. Lord Jesus, I love to dance with you. It is my greatest heart's desire. There is nothing more I seek on the earth, for being with you is everything. I do not need the riches of the earth. I do not need fame or fortune. I do not need a round of applause. I do not need a title or a fabulous paycheck or a high position. I long only to serve you, to lay down my life before you, to give you everything, all of my time. I do not wish for another soul to steal one moment of my time with you, one moment that I can be with you dancing in spirit and truth. Please close my ears to the words of the world, the harmful words of man. Please close my eyes to the people, the distractions, the things. 
I wish only to gaze upon you, my Lord, your beauty, your majesty, your wonder. I love you, my Lord. And I thank you for this day of worship. This day to praise you. To delight in my God. To dance with angels. To sing songs of praise. Songs of glory. Precious child, darling one. I died for you. And I would do it all again because I love you so much. I love every part of you. You are a delight to my soul. You complete me, my child. We are one. I feel the Lord within me now as we dance. It is as if he is all of Christ. All of him in all of me. And all of me in all of him. And we are one. Yet I can still see us dancing, the angels around us. I still see the Father watching over us, his glory radiating upon us. I look beautiful in his sight. I am in my glorified body the body which I will have when I leave the earth. And every part of my body is perfect, flawless. I radiate with the love of God, the beauty of God, the love of heaven. There is no anxiety or stress or worry or grief or fear within me. There is no shame or sin, no hidden secrets. I am pure before my Lord. He has cleansed me, washed me white as snow. Every part of this beautiful vision brings joy to my soul. Every part of this worship, this dance with my Creator will stay with me forever. I see his eyes penetrating deep into my soul. I gaze back at him. Never do I wish to break this gaze. A joining of God and man becoming one, unified, united, My precious child, I long to take you somewhere beautiful this day. We can stay here dancing, but we can also move in the spirit to a new place. Come, my child, let us fly. I see us dancing still with the angels surrounding us, but I also see us now moving in the spirit to a new place. Where are we going this day, my Lord? Where are you taking me? He holds my hand. And it feels like we are flying through the universe, through galaxies and galaxies. Takes me to a place. Where I see it looks like a volcano with molten lava, fire pouring out. I see the souls of many screaming. The ones that refused your love. They are in the lake of fire. Screaming. Koho yana the second death, Allah rapa shiniri yana haleri on the horror, this is so awful. Millions of souls who will be lost. Horihna has they scream, they want me to reach down and help them. 
but they are so far away. Their faces are filled with terror. Oh Lord above you, this is the second death, my child. And all those who refuse me, who walk away from my love, who do not know me at the day of judgment, will be cast out, out of my presence. And they will experience the second death in the lake of fire. Oh Lord, they are screaming in terror. It is so awful to watch. Oh Lord, they cannot escape. There is no second chance. The fire continues to pour, the lava. Oh, pouring down. Oh, this is the fate of those who refuse me, who laugh and mock, who carry their sins into eternity and face me for their judgment. They cannot be forgiven for they refuse the blood of the Lamb. They refuse to repent of their sins. They refuse to acknowledge me as their God, their Lord, the Holy Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. They refused me, blatantly laughed and mocked me, my words. They refused to accept that I am the way and the truth and the life. They laughed at my holy Bible, my words of truth to the lands. They mocked my Christians, they killed and murdered my family. They spat upon my children. They were so filled with hatred, they despised my followers. They thought of ways to kill those who believed in my name. Many were martyred, many died because of those you are looking at now. My child, do not feel sorry for those who have been cast out of my sight. For they had many chances to acknowledge me during their lifetime. But given the chance, these souls too would have nailed me to the cross and left me to die. They did not want my mercy. They did not want my forgiveness. They put their hand up and refused my love. They walked away from me. I tried, my child, in a million ways to save their souls, but they refused. They wanted nothing to do with me. They did not love me. They did not want to exist with me in paradise. They never wanted to worship me. They would prefer to die in the lake of fire than bow their knee before me. Such is their hatred towards the Son of God. Therefore I must let them go and they will die in the second death in the lake of fire. I have the fire that never goes out. My child, we must try and warn those who are left on the earth in any way that you can. Warn them, my child. Tell them of all that is to come if they do not believe. Tell them that they must be saved through the blood of the Lamb, through Jesus Christ. They must bow their knee or they will end up in the lake of fire where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, where there is nothing but terror and torment. Tell them, my children, every nation, tribe and tongue that the day draws near, that soon they will leave the earth and face me for their final judgment. They cannot escape me at life's end. I will be waiting for every soul. Every soul on the earth has a choice to receive me or refuse. And those who refuse will end up in this place of torment. 
this place of fire, separation from their God. Oh Lord, this is a horrible place. And I pray no one ends up here. I pray every person on the earth hears this word and repents and confesses that you are Lord and asks for their sins to be forgiven. I pray every soul hears this word and runs desperately into your arms today, not waiting another moment, but coming to you today, laying their life before you, giving you all that they are, every part of their heart, mind and soul and strength. For you are our God, you are our creator. You are the lover of our soul. You know us intimately, you care for us deeply. Lord, I pray for a great awakening across our earth at this time. I pray, your holy name, that eyes are opened, ears are open, hearts are open to know and understand your holy words, all that was written for our benefit, all that you gave us concerning life and life after death. You are the way. You are the truth, and you are the life. And you, your words have been warning us since the beginning. My oh Lord, I thank you for this day, this beautiful day with you, for showing me the lake of fire. Oh Lord, I feel an urgency in my spirit, an urgency to tell those in the world who are yet to be saved, who are walking around blind, those who have never confessed that you are Lord, that you are their God, those who have never confessed their sins before you and asked for your forgiveness, those who have never forgiven the souls of others. I pray now in your name that this word will go forth and not return void and that those who have never received you, never followed you, will hear this word and repent and be saved, repent and be born again, repent and be delivered into the kingdom of heaven at life's end. For there is no greater place to exist than in the radiance and glory of heaven, your eternal realm. And I thank you for showing us, for opening heaven to us, to this generation for inviting us all into a journey. I thank you for not leaving us as orphans, but coming to reveal heaven on earth. Please open the floodgates of heaven and pour out a blessing across each nation, opening ears to hear and eyes to see. Thank you for all those who choose to come to follow you this day to worship you, to confess their sins and be forgiven from all misdemeanors and set free through the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray now that not a single soul in this generation will be lost to the lake of fire, the burning lake of fire. Lord, save us this day. Heal us, set us free. Beautiful one, I'm going to take you back now, away from this vision. Tell the world that they must repent, they must be born again, if they wish to enter into glory, into paradise, into my new world. I do not want to judge your sin, but I have to, my child. It is written. It is written in my holy word that I will judge the living and the dead. That the Father has given me the power to judge. And those who do not know me, those who walk away from my love, those who refuse my words will be judged for their sin and the wages for sin is death and there is a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth 
the lake of fire, the second death. Oh my Lord, thank you for saving me. Thank you for filling me with your Holy Spirit and opening my eyes to see heaven on this day. I confess before you that I am a sinner. I am not worthy of paradise. It is only through your death and resurrection that I am saved and filled with your Holy Spirit and redeemed by your blood and sanctified in the sight of God and purified, made righteous and holy because of you, because of you, Lord Jesus, the Holy Lamb who was slain. I pray that every soul on the earth confesses that you are Lord. I pray that every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father, that the whole earth rises in praise and worship and songs of rejoicing. Holy is the Lamb, holy is the Lamb, holy is our Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Holy is the Lamb. I see myself dancing with you again in spirit and in truth. Thank you for showing me this vision this day, my Lord. Thank you for this warning for the people on the earth. Thank you for revealing this dark place, this place of terror, fear. My child, this is real, this will happen. Everyone on the earth, Allah likes to believe that all souls end up in paradise. But this is not what is written in my holy word. In my holy word, it is written that there is a place called heaven and a place called hell, Hades a place where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, a place where all those who are not born again will go. And this cannot change. All roads do not lead to paradise, my children. Be warned, be warned this day. Read my Holy Bible. Read what is written, declared, and I I promise you, Pashik, that I will honour every word written in my Holy Bible. My word does not change. I do not change my mind. I do not change. If you are sinning on this day, willfully sinning in my sight, if you are caught up in sin, then I ask that you confess your sin this day before me, that you bow your knee and repent and turn from your wicked ways. Read my Holy Bible and see, see what the sin is that you are committing. See what I have written about your sins. You must know what is sin and what is not in my sight. You must learn my holy words, my children. Do not presume that you know what is sin in my sight and what is not. Do not presume that you know my heart, my mind, concerning your sin, the sins you are committing this day. Do not justify your sins. Do not twist my words so that you can get away with your sin. You know the sin I'm talking about right now that you are doing, my children. For I'm placing the sin in your mind, in your thoughts at this time. Whatever it is, I ask that you change and turn from your wicked ways. That you confess your sin. And I will help you to turn, to walk away. I will give you the strength to resist the sin, the temptation. You will not regret it, my child, for sin causes sickness, disease, anxiety, fear. Sin is not good for your mind, your body or your soul. Sin separates you from your God, from me. 
you cannot stand before me in worship with all your heart and soul and then continue to sin in my sight. It does not work, my children. You cannot come before me fully in worship, in praise, if you are sinning willfully. If you have secret sin, hidden sin that you think I do not see. I see all my children. I see all you are doing, every thought and everything you do. You will be held accountable for my child on the other side. Every word spoken. Every thought that you have, every single thought will be brought to my attention and if you do not believe in me, my death and resurrection, if you do not believe that I died for this sin, for every single thing that you have done in your life against the will of God, if you are not sorry for your sin, if you do not confess your sin, repent, then you will be judged for this sin. And you'll be cast out of my kingdom into the lake of fire where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. The eternal lake of fire, my children. My Lord, I pray in your holy name that knees are bowing all over the world at this time that tongues are confessing that you are Lord. I pray for the redemption of souls this day. I pray that the lake of fire is empty because every soul on the earth in this generation gave their life to you, to your will, and are walking one day with you in paradise. Thank you for this vision this day, my Lord. Thank you for this warning. Beautiful child, you may remain dancing with me after this word. You do not need to return. In spirit and truth, you can see yourself dancing. I do not wish to stop dancing with you. Lord, I do not want to stop dancing either. I wish to dance with you for eternity. For you are so beautiful, so lovely. Then, my child, we shall continue this dance way into the night and forever eternally. I'm your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, and I love you with my whole heart and soul. You have been forgiven of all your sins and washed in my holy blood. I am with you, my child, each and every day, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>